fucking scared. I'm pissed. We need to go. Go, 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 go grab the bag. There's really no need to run. What? Why are we running? The episode starts with the people in the dumping talking about the things that they've learned. Bella says that she'll reach out to Joel when he's outside. Chas says that he's learned to express his emotions. Okay. Shansay is going to be more open to things and Jared and Kat are riding off into the sunset. I'm very happy to see what the future holds. My first boyfriend ever. <laughs> first girlfriend right here. I feel like I missed a chapter. I, the, the boyfriend girlfriend, uh, did that happen in the last episode? I missed it. I missed it, but they're official now. Hoping for the best. Courtney and Chad are happy to still be in the villa, but Courtney is wondering why she's always in the bottom. God, I'm just so tired of being in the bottom. Like, it just keeps happening. But now I feel different because, like, I think we're on different pages. I mean, I don't really think so. Honestly, I was surprised that I was in the bottom again. I think America's, like, trying to show me that, like, my couplings are going a different way than, like, I think it is. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. I'm not the voting public. I don't vote, right? Potentially, though, you might be on the bottom because the connections you make lack substance. And then the connections that do have substance, you send them home. We we don't see what's the point of you being here. Like, literally, you came for a hot girl summer. I'm like, that's fine at all. But the whole point of Love Island is for us to have couples to root for. You've yet to be in one for us to really root for. I think you should have been on Too Hot to Handle. Sydney is another one that I'm just like, girl, why are you here? Because she gives this man another chance, right? And she feels like Isaiah has gone through the tests and he has passed, passed, passed. I want to move on from this and like bury the hatchet to the outside world. A lot of people may not get it, but you know, if he needed to do that to find out how deep his feelings were for me, then so be it. The bar? And hell. The bar is in hell. Okay? It and hell. Phoebe now has her eye on Chad as we saw in the challenge the episode before. But Courtney is on edge about the whole thing. Where is Chad? In the nook. With Phoebe? In the Phoebe? spot with Phoebe, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna be open-minded until later. I, I, I'm in a vulnerable position here. I do feel like a vibe between me and Chad. Where's your head at? <laughs> I definitely have interest in you. Like I can't, like we vibe and I can't like deny it. Yeah. I definitely have the most interest in you that I've had in here. You know, this episode really showed me why I'm single. Truly, truly. Because these people are my age mates. Like I, I'm right amongst these people age-wise. However, the lack of emotional maturity, the lack of verbal communication clearly and concisely, it's mind-boggling, you guys, mind-boggling. And the fact that Chad right now is a hot commodity blows my mind even more because what, what about Chad? What about Chad? He's as interesting as the couch, please. In the night, Chad was given an ultimatum by Courtney and he's not happy about it. I think her ego is not happy with the fact that there's like even any girl who has my interest at all besides her. Follow what you want to do. Everybody should respect that. It might, it obviously shit like that comes with a cost. Literally. I honestly don't think the ultimatum was that bad. Truly. Like, she's been in couples that she believes the person wasn't fully there for her or maybe had like some kind of hang up like with, uh, what was that guy who left? The guy with the dark hair, not the first one, but basically she felt like he was being fake with her, right? So he liked her, but maybe not authentically. And the first guy she thought, oh, maybe he was looking for some, I don't know. She's just always had an issue. What's his name was a mama's boy. She's always found an issue with something. So now she finds somebody that she genuinely likes for whatever reason. And for him to be weighing out another option, I could see how she's like, no, 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 no. I've been through this before. Either you're all for me or you're not. Ah, yeah, it wasn't an ultimatum, yes. But was it the worst of ultimatums that we've ever seen? No. She asks Phoebe how her connection with Chad is going. I feel like it just like goes well because like we just like naturally vibe together. Mm -hmm. He like had a feeling I was gonna kiss him in the challenge. Yeah, um, of course. 
I realized in this episode what annoys me about Courtney. She's very nonchalant. And to me, there's no way you go through what you go through and be this stoic. Even in her regular life, like the things that she talks about with her mom and history. It's not that I want her to cry about it, but it kind of just seems like, yeah, it happened. And like, that's it. And so the stuff that she's going through in the villa right now, she's kind of like, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, happy for you. Oh, whatever. But it's like, girl, show, show us some emotion. Like, be frustrated. Have these hard conversations. Really challenge yourself here. Chad later on has a comment. Yeah, it's all going to be about Courtney and Chad pretty much. Chad later on has a conversation with Courtney and is basically like, yeah, the ultimatum. I don't like that. I just was making sure that I oh, yeah. remember that Yeah, correctly. I remember this shit. <laughs> like, I guess I'm not thrilled about being given an ultimatum. You either know it's in front of you or you don't. That's not my problem, you know? You're so right. if by now it's just like, if you, like, it's literally, do you know it's in front of you or not? <laughs> I like that she's adding pressure, but the nervous laugh, I'm going to assume it's a nervous laugh. It makes it seem like you're not serious. And he's already kind of annoyed with you. So you've got to be stern in what you're saying to be like, yo, I'm not playing around. And I know that she's not, but I think the laughter is her just trying to like, not make it too, too tense, but it's like, girl, let this man know like how you really feel about the situation. You know what I mean? I understand that you can't force attraction, but when I'm looking at this connection, comparing it to the last few connections that she's had, I feel like those guys were better suited for her based off of the things that she has said she wanted she's tired of just the physical connection she's tired of people not looking at her as more than just a body more than just a sex thing but then the connections that she let go of were people who were more serious about her than what chad is currently chad couldn't give two craps about this whole situation yeah she pissed off yeah, I don't know why, bro. I didn't do shit. Right. But if it was her fucking storming off and shit, what the fuck does that mean? I mean, at this point, I'm just like, what the fuck ever. Where did I, where did I say the bar was? Yeah. Um, where is the empathy? Oh my goodness. Like, your girl is hurting. Unless you don't see her as a girl, then that's a whole nother situation. The girls get a text that they're going to go on a bonding hike. And the guys, while they're gone, get a text that they're going to have a barbecue with a special guest. I'm Mackenzie, I'm 25, and I am coming back to Love Island. I was on season two. Wow. Oh, yeah. shit! Oh, shit! I knew it! Shit! I knew she looked familiar. Yeah, that's I knew me. she looked familiar for sure. Mackenzie said that she's here to finish what she started. I don't know about you guys, but I was finished. I was... I was finished, so I don't know what... What are, what are we finishing here? She said she's open to everyone and uh, she's talking to me basically trying to see who's available, who's not. And he's like, immediately, I'm not available. Jesse's not available. Isaiah's not available. Do so you it's think Jeff is still so open? I think there definitely is some wiggle room there. I don't know how open he is. What about Chad? Like, I know that Courtney and Zita Chad, yeah. are like besties. Yeah. Has he said that he's like all in on Courtney then? Um, He's working towards that. I think mm -hmm. it, he's still, obviously, Tom is not. Uh, in abundance here. They haven't really been tested yet. No. I'm not going to pursue someone just because they're single. So she's starting her tour with Jeff. And, you know, even though I'm not a fan of Nadja, I'm less of a fan of Mackenzie. It mm. really has come across that you're like the kind of like the goofy one. For sure. Do you consider yourself goofy? I'm funny as fuck. I got a big, strong personality, so yeah. you feel me? And I feel like that's why everybody fuck with me. I mean, I think you're really freaking cute. Yeah. I think you just have like a, I think your eyes are really kind. Thank you. I'm open to another conversation just to talk to her and shit like that. And I kind of want Naja to feel it, like, to test like how she really feel about me, you know what I mean? I just don't like it. Like, girl, back off. Back off. I don't like it. I, I don't. I don't. I want somebody specific for Jeff. And she's not here yet. She also talks to Joel, who is a hopeless romantic. She's definitely got a good head on her shoulders and definitely interested in getting to know her a little bit more and, you know, to see if there's any kind of spark there. I love to love, and when I love, I love hard. Um, hopeless romantic and all those things. I love a good hopeless romantic when I can still meet one. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, baby boy, you're not going to find your wife on this show. Definitely not. And absolutely not with this girl. Her last stop on the tour, in this episode at least, is with Chad, who's currently in a triangle and open to a square. I don't really know where me and Courtney stand. In a way, I almost feel like Courtney might just be like done with the situation. Because of that, I'm open to getting to know other people. Would you be open or do you feel like 
you're really like sad on Courtney. I mean, I'm open for sure. He adds a really fun element and a layer to things. I need a guy with substance. I need a guy who is open. Sorry, uh, this is me looking for the substance that everybody keeps talking about. I have yet to witness this substance that the girls keep saying, Phoebe clearly sees something. Mackenzie says she sees something. Courtney see what? Enlighten the people. The girls finally come back from their hike and a few of them are clearly pressed. Really, I'm just looking like, where's Timmy standing in all this? <laughs> she knows what she missed and she's back to make it all up. You don't want a new bitch coming in here and like wanting your man. Oh my God, what the fuck? Mackenzie is in the villa now. It's gonna come off rude anyways. If your man can be swayed by Mackenzie, he was not your man to begin with. And I'm talking about the couples who are like legit. So Courtney Isaiah, dar I mean, he's still not your man, but we move. Timmy and Zita, mm -mm. Chad all this time thought that things were over between him and Courtney. Again, lacking substance because substance would have led you to have a really clear and concise form of communication between y'all and you would have known that that wasn't the case. But even though that wasn't the case before, it might be the case now. I'm glad you don't hate me. I thought you didn't like me anymore. No, of course I don't hate you. I mean, I told her I was open to get to know her. Mm -hmm. um, so do you hate me again because I said that? No, but maybe that's what you need to do. I feel like if you don't know where you are with me right now and I've given you so much room, so much space to figure out what the fuck you feel, then I'm not doing the shit. I'm over the shapes, I just want a line. She was a little bit more stern and direct in this conversation and I love that for her. Problem is, it probably had no effect on the man because she's in tears again in the next episode. So, it's tough man, I'm going through a lot of thoughts, I'm going through a lot of emotions, y'all let me know how you feel about this whole situation. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.